Hi, my name's Peter Brogdon and in this short video I'm going to take you through the steps that you'll need to learn to easily clean the sensor on this Olympus Micro Four Thirds camera. All cameras that have interchangeable lenses eventually will find themselves with spots and dust on the sensor and occasionally it will need to be cleaned off. It's a good idea occasionally to take a reference shot with your camera just so that you can assess the amount of contamination on the sensor and decide whether it needs to be cleaned now or maybe leave it to later. Now it's really easy to take a test shot. Obviously we're going to take the lens cap off the lens. We're going to use a lens with a reasonable focal length, not a wide angle lens in other words. So I'm going to set the camera to aperture priority, which means we can control the size of the aperture through the lens. And for a reference shot, we want a large depth of field, which means dialing in a small aperture. So a small aperture means a large number on the control wheel. So with this camera, I can go up to f22, for example, which gives me a lot of depth of field. Uh, I want to have a low ISO. And I also want to have it on manual focus because I don't want to focus on the thing I'm photographing. I just want a continuous tone that lets me see the uh, contamination on the sensor and not what I'm photographing. So I've got it on aperture priority. I'm on manual focus and I've got a small aperture. So let's point the camera at a white piece of paper or a white wall, anything with a white continuous tone, and then move the camera about and take an exposure. And that should give you a nice continuous tone grey image that you can look at it on the screen on the back or maybe put the image into your computer system, look at it on your big screen and then you can assess whether the sensor is contaminated enough to need a clean now or maybe leave it to next time. Once we've assessed our test image and decided that we need to give the sensor a clean, the first stage in cleaning is to give it a dry clean. Now before you start cleaning, prepare a clean area to work in. It's no good doing this job in a dirty, grungy area of your household. Find somewhere dust free and clean to work uh, and then you'll find that your results will be uh, very successful. So in order to clean the sensor, we need to take the lens off. So I've put the lens cap back on the front. I'll take the lens off. Now, it makes sense while we're doing this to put a lens cap on the back of this lens because if there's any dust in the atmosphere, we don't want it to settle on the lens and then we'll put it back in the camera when we replace the lens. Similarly, when we're working on the camera, don't leave the camera on your work area like that. Either leave it like that, or even better, leave it like that while you're uh, adjusting your cleaning equipment, and then no dust can fall in the camera. So, the first stage of a dry clean is to blow any dust off the sensor. Now, I like to keep my blowers in a polythene bag when I'm not using them, because that keeps the blower clean and hygienic, and makes sure that I don't blow any dust into the camera. This particular blower has a, a, a filter on the end, so it can only blow clean air out the other end. So in order to clean the sensor, I'm going to hold the camera up. I'm going to put the blower underneath the camera with the tip just by the entrance to the lens mount. I'm not going to move it inside the camera. I'm going to keep it just outside the camera and then give it a few vigorous puffs of air in order to shift any dust off the sensor. Now once I've done that, it's a good idea to check the sensor and if you have a loop, it's a really easy way of checking the sensor. You could of course take another test shot at this point. Now if you find that there's still any dust remaining, it might be worth having a second dry clean with a cleaning brush. Now these brushes are made of nylon and it means that they can hold a static charge and the static charge is very good at attracting dust. So, take the blower and blow the blower across the bristles. And by doing that, for a few seconds, you'll put a static charge onto the bristles. And that static charge can be used to attract dust off the sensor. So, hold the brush introduce it into one side of the lens mount where the left hand side of the sensor and then gently move it across the sensor 
till you reach the other side and then carefully out of the camera and hopefully that will have removed all traces of dust. Now before we can get the bristles themselves dirty we're going to put it back in the pouch and keep it clean for next time. Oops. Now with any luck that has got the sensor completely clean. Uh, it's worth checking with the loop again or possibly doing another test shot. If there is any more contamination we will need to move on to the final stage of cleaning which is to do a wet cleaning which we'll talk about next. And wet cleaning means uh, wetting a swab with some solution and physically rubbing it up and down the sensor. Now uh, with this particular camera which has a floating sensor we need to make sure that we have a fully charged battery and when we're actually cleaning the sensor we need to power the camera on which will lock the sensor and stop it moving about while we're cleaning it. So you definitely don't want to be cleaning it with the power off because you'll find that the sensor wobbles about while you're cleaning it. So swabs come in different sizes to suit different cameras and these swabs are colour coded to make it really easy to decide which swab you need. Yellow handled swabs are for full frame cameras. Blue handled swabs are for uh, some crop sensor cameras. You can use them on some micro four thirds cameras. Uh, red handled swabs are for most crop cameras and uh, indeed for this micro four thirds camera as well. You don't have to worry too much. There is a look up chart on our website. You can simply look up your camera and it will tell you what size swab you need for your camera. These swabs come in a sealed up pouch. Uh, they are manufactured using no glues. There's no welding involved. There's no sharp edges. They're a really easy swab to use. They're specially shaped so that you can see clearly while you're cleaning and they really are easy to use. Now I like to get everything ready before I start cleaning. So I'm going to unseal the bag here and get the swab ready for use. I'm going to take my solution. Now there's two solutions. Uh, there's gamma and beta. Both have equal cleaning power. But if you travel a lot, especially on aeroplanes, you should be using the beta fluid. So I take the top off my fluid. My swab is ready. I'm going to power the camera on. I'm now going to wet the swab two or three drops across the end of the swab and then I'm going to put the swab in one side of the camera on the sensor left here and then I'm going to move it slowly across the sensor here to the right. When I get to the right hand side I'm going to move back to the left hand side again nice and slowly and then I'm going to remove the swab from the camera put it down there that swab is now contaminated we're never going to use it again and I'm going to turn the camera off and now we're finished I'm actually going to refit the lens because the next stage is to do our final test shot just to check that we've got the sensor fully clean so I hope you found this video interesting and I hope you understand that in practice it's really easy to keep the sensor clean. If you found it useful and helpful, please give us the thumbs up. Thanks very much indeed.